Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to another episode. My name is John Sign. I'm a DJ producer, daily vlogger. Today, a special episode because slightly a lot of people have been asking me about DJs with masks and why they actually wear it. At first, it might seem like a simple question, but the entire topic is actually way, way more complex. So let's actually get into it. Head over to the studio and answer that question and a couple more. I absolutely don't get it. It's annoying, it's warm underneath, it looks kind of stupid, but still a lot of the top DJs do it. They wear a mask, a bucket, a helmet, just something that separates them from the rest. And that's actually one of the very first reasons why they do it. It's branding, marketing, nothing else. So for example, that mouse, he started his career without a helmet. His name was just like a, a random funny name he picked. I'm sure you all know the story. And he started touring or actually like his first small gigs in front of 100, 200 people back then, I think like 10, 12 years ago when he started with his first breakthrough single, Faxing Berlin. It was a huge underground hit. Everyone played that song. I played it. Every other DJ that, that I know played it back then. It, it was massive. It was kind of new, that very progressive kind of vibe. And I think for the first half year after that hit, he didn't have a helmet, a mask, nothing. I mean, you know his, his famous mouse head. So in his case, it's definitely not to disguise who he actually was. Everyone knows his full name, what he looks like, where he lives, his studio, it's all public. The mouse head is really for branding. That was the main reason. And also because people actually kind of requested it. It's because it's so, like the name already suggests that, that you kind of brand it that way with a big, huge helmet. And since he's playing live, he's also started to incorporate that helmet with lights into his light shows. So nowadays it's also part of the entire act actually. Then there's the next category where it's not only branding, but also just keeping yourself out of the media, staying private, staying disguised. This actually is just working for Daft Punk. Both of them wearing those helmets, definitely the coolest helmets on the market. They're done by professionals that actually make stuff for, for films. And yes, you can look up what they're actually called. And yes, you might even find very, very, very old photos of them without the helmets. But I'm pretty sure no one would actually recognize them like walking down the street. So they can have a full private life without the trouble. And again, also the branding. Plus human nature, if we, if we, don't know something, if someone tells us it's a secret, I can't tell you. It makes us even more want to know what's actually behind it and follow it and maybe Google the artist and see if there are any pictures available. So this definitely creates an interest, like this mysteriousness to know who or what is actually behind the mask. Next up, two, two other artists, Marshmallow and Cactone. Their reasoning is also partially marketing, partially staying in disguise, but there is there's more to it. I will try and explain it in a little bit. I first need to sit here and make music. I just got new vocals and, and I can't wait to, to work on them and actually implement them into my new album tracks. So um, yeah, let's get started. Cause I know that I'm, I'm the better one. And that's exactly why There's really nothing better than spending the entire day making music, especially with those new vocals. They're just amazing. Let me play you a really, really, really short snippet. Because as you know, my album's still top secret, but I just have to, because it's so good. My secrets, my secrets, too dangerous to
Okay, I think that's enough for now. Well, let's get back to topic, those DJs with the helmets and why they do it. The next one is Marshmallow. So with him, it's the same. The branding, of course, no one does the branding as good as him and his team. It's insane. Within four years from zero to the world top, top superstar DJ pop star league, it's insane. And then all that Fortnite hype and, and a bunch of other brand deals, collaborations, it's really, it's really sick. And you could now say it's good for the music industry. You could say it's bad. He's exaggerating it with his team, but they're definitely making as much money as possible with an electronic music act. On top of the branding and, and staying disguised, although everyone knows who it actually is, it's definitely the separation from his older project. That's also the reason a lot of people start doing this mask kind of thing. It's also the same reason for Clapton. Both of them had already previously musical projects that were working and to not destroy these projects because you switch up your style, they just stay in the shadows and don't tell anyone that those projects already have other projects that are working. Especially in Clapton's case, the original artist is doing Berlin underground kind of tech house stuff and making way more poppy sampled bass Clapton music wouldn't fit. I mean, the, the underground crowd, they can be really mean. If you start being like commercial and selling out, that's like the number one thing they tell people. It's also one of the reasons why almost no underground artist has merch, because like people just, just hate them for that. But anyway, so he, he started this the second project with the mask to just not let everyone know that there's actually this bigger project, or at least back then, bigger project behind it. Speaking of Clapton, He's the last one for today. And there, it actually, it, it turned into something entirely different that I personally absolutely don't like. And they, they figured like, why, if no one knows who Clapton is, why not have multiple Claptones take all of the bookings that are available? Because you can imagine once you rise to fame and people want to book you, it might happen that there is one show in Miami that wants to book you and one in, I don't know, Australia. There is no way you can do both as one person. But later on, when the project got more successful, they transformed it from this one artist into a like collaboration group kind of project with like mysterious multiple clap tones at different places. So if you look at his tour schedule, there, there, there is no way one person can cover it. And they kind of made the story around it to kind of justify why, why it's happening like that, that it's actually multiple people. But initially it was just this one person. I still remember I was at the Watergate in Berlin back then when I was living there and the Clapton dude was just standing next to the DJ booth, 10 people in front of him, his mask in his hand and getting ready for the gig. So here it gets like in, in a, kind of greedy direction like doing all of this faking multiple people at multiple places i think it's a little unfair to the fans because they actually want to see the person live that made the music and instead they just send around the world people that just wear the same mask it's a branding thing it's smart business wise it's smart money wise it's smart for promotion purposes but absolutely not my thing. For me, it's actually the, the other opposite. I, I want to be the one making the music, the one showcasing the music, the one behind the music. And I, I don't mind everyone knowing that it's me because I'm proud of what I do. And I think this is like the, the more honest approach, but everyone should do whatever works for them. These are my top examples for why DJs, producers actually wear these kind of things and stay in disguise. Let me know if I forgot any reason. There are probably more. There are of course also negative sides, like it's, it's, it's hot underneath, you can't really see, you can't really walk. It's hard to get audio underneath into your ear to actually hear what you're doing. Jumping with it is hard. So, so there are a lot of practical negatives but the marketing money things, they actually outweigh those. So yeah, let's maybe have a little discussion in the comments about this. Do you like artists doing these mask kind of things for no other reason than actually making more money? Would you actually wear a mask performing or is that nothing for you? Let me know. 
tomorrow back again, of course, here in the studio, making more music, because I got even more vocals. I will try and work on these, maybe for one or two more hours, but um, tomorrow more, definitely. More. In my mind, I'll stay.